Okay, so wanted to give you guys a brief update on what happened out here at Independence Center today. Uh, around 2.20 p.m., uh, shortly after 2.20, officers responded out here in the mall and reports to shots being fired inside the mall. Uh, when officers arrived out here at the scene, uh, we discovered four victims here at the mall uh, suffering from gunshot wounds. They were transported to a local hospital. Uh, the investigation is still ongoing as far as to what happened, but uh, best we can tell at this point um, is that there were two individual groups of people who had met up here at the mall at some point um, and had some, some sort of interaction. Um, we're still trying to determine what that interaction was and what the relationship was between these two people or these two groups of people. Um, but at some point, uh, shots were fired between those two groups, uh, resulting in the injuries. So, right now, status wise, with um, our victims, we have one in critical condition. Uh, we have three uh, that vary from uh, what I would call serious condition to non life threatening. So, um, that's kind of where we're at at this point. We do have uh, some persons of interest in custody related to this. Um, again, this is an ongoing investigation, so uh, we're still, still trying to work through how those people were related and how they were involved and things like that. So um, that's what we have at this point. So there were two groups firing at each other. Correct. There was a crossfire, and is that how people got caught in it? Yeah, that's kind of what we're hearing at this point. Um, again, we're still trying to piece together the details, but uh, in generality, yeah, that's that's so what. Were there innocent, innocent bystanders or people from the groups like that? Hit, or? Again, you know, we're detail-wise, I'm not real sure. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking that maybe it was two groups, and you know, the victims were involved with those groups. But again, um, I just don't know for sure until the investigation goes further. So, I and I. There oftentimes a rumor mill goes around sure, with sure. this, right? And, and there are multiple people telling us that someone who worked in one of the stores who saw it, but we haven't spoken to that person directly, that there was a pregnant woman who was shot, and she was shot in the head. Obviously, you won't know all the details about the nature of the injuries, but do you know if there was a pregnant woman who was one of the victims? Um, at this point, I really don't want to disclose anything personal about the victims. Um, I will say that one of the victims was female. Um, so I, as the investigation goes on, maybe we can release more details um, as time moves on a little bit. But I, I just don't want to get into personal things about the victim at this point. You said you have some persons of interest in custody. Do you feel like you have everyone in custody who is a threat? Um, at this point, we're, again, we're not sure. Okay, we do have some people in custody. We don't know what role they played. Um, you know, we're still working to see if there's other people that we need to be looking for. Two or three in custody? I believe there are three. Can you share the ages of the victims? I don't have the ages. I, I believe they're adults, but I don't have the ages. Do you know how many people you have in custody? Three. And Jack, witnesses said that police were slow to get here. How can that happen when you have a substation here? Um, so I don't know what our response time was. I don't know when the first officer arrived on the scene. Uh, our substation today, actually because of the holiday, uh, that officer is not here today uh, because it's Veterans Day being observed today. So um, it, it, we, it, we did have an officer here that was working in one of the stores that arrived on the scene almost immediately after the call came in. So uh, I, I don't know, you know what, what, the, uh, what was said about the delay, but we did have an officer here at the mall. Someone also indicated that one of the victims was a security guard. Do you know if any of those shot were employees? Of the uh, I, I have not been told that anybody's an employee. Officer, Officer Taylor, we kind of recently came on. Can you recap for our viewers exactly what happened on today? Um, sure. So um, around 2:20, uh, we responded out here to the mall on a shooting. Uh, when we arrived on the scene, we determined that there were four victims that had been shot. Uh, those victims were transported to a local hospital where they were treated with an injury. Uh, one of those victims sustained critical injuries, uh, and uh, they're being worked through with that. Um, so, as far as suspects go on this, we do have uh, well, we have three persons of interest in custody. Um, you know, right now, we're just kind of working through um, what their involvement was. I don't know if you were here when I talked earlier. Uh, but it looks like um, through the investigation, and it's still ongoing, but right now kind of what we have is that two groups of people, it appears that they had some kind of interaction right inside the mall, and uh, shots were fired. I don't know what the discussion was. I don't know what the interaction was at this point, but those two groups of people um, you know, met up, and that's how they were. Uh,
this is not the first time that something like this has happened at Independence Center. In my years here, I remember just my recollection at least two other times, and it was disputes between people. How can this keep happening? I know the mall has done some things to try to take down on this. Yeah, so the mall has um, increased security. You know, they've done, uh, they've put in video cameras, they've done some other things around the mall. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, I think, you know, we see it out, not just at the mall, but, you know, other places around the city as well, where uh, people get into services and they're real quick to, to pull firearms to try to settle those disputes. Uh, I, I think this just happens to be, you know, a place where people gather, and so, um, you know, those, those disputes happen to, Papa. You know, there was a reunification uh, set, spot set up over there. Uh, what can you tell us about what was going on in the immediate moments afterwards? Uh, if the malls were, or the stores were closing their doors, if folks running, trying to get out, where people ended up after this happened? Sure, yeah, the stores had closed. Um, they had followed their uh, response for shooting type situations here at the mall. Um, and we had the, the parking lots and everything shut down here. So there was no way for cars to get in to pick up loved ones or anything like that. Um, so once the stores started, once we started clearing their stores, um, after the situation stabilized here, um, obviously people were wanting to, you know, come pick up, you know, whoever here at the mall, and, but they couldn't come in here to do it. And so we had to determine a location to where um, that was safe for them to do. And so that was the purpose of, of picking the car wash because it was close to 39th Street. Um, it wasn't inside our perimeter where people had to and uh, it was a good and easy walking distance for people inside the mall. And witnesses described to us uh, situations of kids being separated from parents, things like that. Is anything that you're aware of or a uh, sad thing that happens? Um, you know, like that, it, it's unfortunate that it happens, but on an event like this, I, I could see that happening because people are trying to get to safety as quick as they can. And, you know, that may not be um, where a, a family stays together. One person may be in this store, one person may be in this store. Um, and it's just, it, it, the response is to try to get someplace as quickly as you can. Can you speak to how frustrating it is to respond to a shooting in a place where people and families come together? Well, yeah, it is frustrating because, you know, you have this happen and there's many people around that could become victims. And it's, it's not just, the dispute doesn't stay just with those people, with that group of people, right? It, it can has the potential to affect people that don't have anything to do with that initial dispute. Um, so it is frustrating that, that that happens. Are all the uh, persons of interest taken into custody inside the mall? Um, I believe they were taken into custody out here on 39th Street, but I'm not 100% sure. So one person still on the loose. What should the general public? Oh, I don't do? know if anybody. You said there were four people, and you have three in custody. Oh, I'm sorry. There's three in custody. Yeah, we do have three. I don't know that we're looking for anyone else. Also, oh, so, yeah. Can you um, tell me what people need to know about mall operations going forward? Um, I would assume the mall will be closed tonight, but one of the employees told me that they will be reopening. Yeah, so I don't know what the mall has planned. Um, I, I can't speak on their behalf, obviously, because I don't know what they have going on. I know the area where we're working the scene is going to be closed yet for quite some time. Um, you know, as far as the rest of the mall goes, they would have to speak. And what area is that? Uh, so it's the area right inside the 39th Street entrance to so. On the second level, right? Yeah it, would, yeah, it would be the main level here, so ground level. Okay. How long do you think it will take for you to process the scene? Um, you know, our crime scene unit will be out here taking some pictures, doing measurements, things like that that they normally do at a scene. And uh, as soon as I get that wrapped up, we should, we should be able to start cl clearing that out. So. Do we know if uh, any gunshots were fired by anyone in private security? I don't have any of that information. I don't believe so, but I, I haven't heard anybody say that. So. so it's fair to say they were taken into custody outside of the independent center? Correct. All right, anything else?